What's up everyone, it's Tyranitar Tube, and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage video. There's a lot going on in Pokemon news right now, but the real excitement is Pokemon Get TV claiming to reveal more gameplay next week. But they are actually behind on news, so there's a possibility that the new gameplay will be of things we already know. But so far, we've got new scans, more gameplay, and more news on Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire to look at. First off, new gameplay was shown in the most recent episode of Pokemon Get TV, showcasing the full animation for when a Pokemon undergoes Primal Reversion. Like we saw in the first trailer, Primal Reversion is unique to each Pokemon, and that thought was confirmed when we saw these screenshots showcasing the Alpha and Omega symbols for Primal Kyogre and Groudon. The full animation of Primal Reversion shows a special crystal forming around them, their symbols forming on it, and the Pokemon breaking out in its true form. It's just epic to know that Primal Reversion is not just a more majestic version of Mega Evolution, not that Ampharos isn't majestic, but Primal Forms carry its own specialty. Now I know the anime animation is a bit long, which may annoy some of you after a few times transforming, but it'll probably shorten down after the first transformation, just like how the Mega Evolution transformation will shorten after its first transformation. But anyways, it's just epic to see the full animation, and I'm just hyped to see a possible Primal Rayquaza now. Just imagine a green crystal with the Delta symbol, my god. Next up, a few new screenshots were shown of various scenes in the game. These screenshots were posted to the game's Amazon pages, and while they don't reveal any new information, they show off some interesting things. First off, we get a new screenshot of Archie and Maxi, which are of locations we've already seen. May and Brendan can be seen in Meteor Falls, and no, they're not doing the fusion dance, but rather about to double battle the team grunts in the cave. Like visible from earlier screenshots, the rival will be playing a bigger role in these games, and will probably even get a mega Pokemon at the end. And finally, this last screenshot showcases the beach in Route 109. The most notable things here are not the fact that you can sit in these chairs for hours under the sun, but rather that there are Wingle visits in the overworld. It relates back to other scenes like when underwater and Pokemon are floating around and at the beginning of the game where the beauty fly can be seen flying around. It's interesting to see how it'll tie in. Is it just for decoration or can they actually attack you like the odd ambushes in Pokemon X and Y but in hordes maybe? Two new Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire themed 2DSs were also announced exclusive to Europe as now to release on November 7th, but if ordered after the 20th will come with either Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But there's more to these systems. These systems are Translucent Red and Translucent Blue, just like the Translucent Game Boy Advance. Nintendo is actually trying to bring back that same feel with these consoles, and that's actually really epic. You can almost consider these 2DSs as the next gen Game Boy Advance, and the 3DS as essentially the next gen Game Boy Advance SP. And whether it comes to North America or not, I'm definitely gonna get my hands on one. But anyways guys, that's it for this coverage video. Be sure to drop a like if you're hyped about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire and let me know your thoughts on Primal Forms as well as the new classic 2DS systems. There's gonna be more coverage on Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Tyranitar Tube and welcome back to another Pokemon X. No, it's not X and Y. What?